let's talk about the deprival superreaction tendency, also known as loss aversion. Now, if I was to give you $10, right, you'd be pretty happy. But if you were to lose $10, you'd be pretty pissed off. The magnitude of your happiness from the $10 gain is not equal to the $10 loss. The magnitude of the $10 loss is far greater than gaining $10. This is loss aversion. Even in a scenario where, let's say, your salary is increased. Let's say your base salary is something like $50,000 a year. We boost up your salary, we double it to $100,000. You'd be fairly happy, you'd be over the moon, right? But let's say the economic situation of the world is not going too well, and we're going to have to cut your pay down to $75,000 a year. Now, $75,000 is still a net gain of $25,000 above what you previously had, but the loss would disappoint you greatly, far more than the gain of $50,000. Once again, this is loss aversion. We tend to put greater acknowledgement to losses than gains. Now, the reason why we do this could be simply put from an evolutionary standpoint. People like being where they are. They like being in the state of homeostasis. So if you lose something, it's threatening your well-being. If you gain something, it's an added benefit. Losing something is threatening your situation. So if you're a caveman and another caveman steals one of your wives or something like that, this could be detrimental to you. This is not going to help your survival. This is not going to help your kids. But if you were to gain another wife when you already have two, it doesn't really change much. It just is added bonus. So that's where this stems from. Now, this also is the reason why gambling is so successful, why casinos make a lot of money from gambling. If you're gambling and you lose your money, you feel obliged to keep playing to regain your money, even though logically there is no way that the odds are going to be in your favor. The odds are still the same, but because you lost $100, you really want to play more until you break even. So that's how gambling functions, and that's how a lot of people have made a lot of money of gambling through using this cognitive bias that's embedded in our minds. This is also seen in the stock market. I'm sure if you've studied economics, you understand about a bull and a bear market. A bull market is when the stocks are rising and everyone's just buying. Everyone is in the heat of the moment, getting ready to make some money. A bear market is when the stocks are going down and everyone is running away. This is when loss aversion is really doing some damage. Because everyone is selling, because the stock's going down, no one wants to lose what they have. This is generally the best time to actually buy stocks. Warren Buffett is quoted saying, buy when there is blood in the streets, because he understands the cognitive bias of loss aversion, of how people make illogical decisions when they start losing money, when they start losing their standings. So understand this cognitive bias and you'll be better off. I hope you enjoyed that. Just do it!